to another exciting adventure of uh, it figures. So I'm gonna be honest. I've always been a bigger DC fan than Marvel fan. There's the exceptions, you know, but uh, I've always enjoyed Batman the Animated Series. And then I looked out from underneath my rock and found these figures. Then I had to buy Jason Todd. I'll get him open, we'll go over it. Here he is, out of his plastic prison. Looks like he comes with a rocket launcher, a pistol, a red battering, a red hood, gun hands, non-gun hands, huzzah hands. So there's Jason Todd ready for action. Ah, he's got his fisty hands. Um, it's not a bad figure. I mean, we'll go for the 360, why not? He's got a gun holster. He's got the... Red Hood Batman symbol on the back of his jacket as opposed to his open chest. This is based on the comic Batman The Adventure Continues. He's got weird jack boots. Um, he, he does look like he might need some sleep. Or he's been through some shit. He's got some scarring on his face there. It's like pretty good. It's not the worst thing in the world. I really like it. I, to be honest, I can't really complain about this figure. Um... There's some weird stuff on it. Like, he does look very animated. He looks like he'd fit in with uh, Turtles and Time Turtles from NECA. But besides that, I really like the figure. He looks good. I'll throw some crap in his hands. One bitch. I threw his pistol in his hand, and the pistol guard, the trigger guard, immediately broke. Uh, that just snapped right off. It was a very thin plastic... The gun is a very thin plastic, so be careful with that once you get it. It doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't, you know, look great. Uh, one of the alternate hands is a throw a battering hand, I think. So I put his red battering in there, like he's about to throw it, and then back it up with some lead. Not a bad little pose. It's a cool figure. Four mistakes are made again. Uh, this looks like a much thicker plastic for the rocket launcher for the RPG. So, let me get that in his hand. Either the figure is too stubby, or I can't figure it out, but, you know, when you're holding a rocket launcher, typically, it's never to the side like this. <laughs> I don't know, but, uh, it looks like you can only pose him this way while holding the rocket launcher. I guess that makes sense, but, you know, I just thought it'd be over his shoulder. I'm okay with being wrong, it doesn't take away from the figure. It just looks a little goofy. Uh, pistol does fit in his little pistol holder, which is an easy fit, so that's good. But, you know. I still think he needs a duffel bag full of mob heads, but I guess they didn't go for that option. But, yep, switched up to the C grips just to show you those. He does come with three sets of hands, he comes with the fists. Actually, four sets. It comes with the C-Grips, it comes with the uh, shooty hands, the fists, and the wavy goodbye ones. So. And it's got the lines on there to indicate that he is, in fact, from the animated comic book, or from the comic book. Um, another figure for comparison, I guess, if you want to see that. If I can get him to stand. There we go. Is uh, Batman himself. This figure is actually really well done. Uh, he comes with different hands. He came with a grappling hook. And so for the time being, that's what I did there. Um, they do look like they're... The Batman, in a way, looks like he is ripped from like the, the comic, so I appreciate that a whole lot. So, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how Robin... Or how Jason Todd got introduced in the comic book version. And other than the animated series, they were like, nope, it's totally Tim Drake. So, I don't know. I don't really care. Um, I just like the figure. So, there's that. But, these are pretty cool. They're not horrible. Uh, the price point's like 25 right now. If you find them not online. Uh... <laughs> And even then, if you find them in a retail store, they'll probably just up it up to 30 bucks anyway. But it's not a bad figure. I don't know if it's the answer to 
Uh, Marvel Legends is, uh, you know, Legends. But for me, I, I kind of prefer these over the uh, multiverse figures a whole lot. So, I don't know. I might be selling my multiverse to collection to get up more of these guys. I know there's a Joker, there's a Harlequin, uh, Robin is out there, Dick Grayson Robin, so I don't know, I might go for that. Anyway, I uh, hope you all have a great day. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are these figures stupid? Jeff, what are you doing? Switch back to Lego. Who's your favorite Batman character? Do you like the Red Hood premise? Just anything. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Do all the things. Take it easy.